Ever wondered why the Sahara Desert, the largest hot desert in the world, is often referred to as a sea without water? Picture a place that spans over 9 million square kilometers, encompassing large parts of North Africa. This is the Sahara, a vast expanse of wilderness, larger than the entire United States or China. It stretches from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Red Sea in the east, and from the Mediterranean Sea in the north to the Sahel in the south. This massive desert is not just a sea of sand, but a dynamic and diverse landscape, with mountain ranges, rocky plateaus, and even freshwater oases. But why is it often called a sea without water? The Sahara is a world of extremes. During the day, temperatures can soar above 50 degrees Celsius and then plunge below freezing at night. The air is so dry that it can go years, even decades, without a speck of rain. This desert is a testament to the relentless power of the sun, with its scorching heat evaporating any trace of moisture, turning the landscape into an endless expanse of sand and rock. It's as if the Sahara is a vast, parched ocean, with waves of golden sand instead of water. Despite these extreme conditions, the Sahara is not a lifeless wasteland. It's home to a variety of resilient plants and animals, each uniquely adapted to survive in this harsh environment. From the resilient cactus to the swift fennec fox, life in the Sahara is a testament to the power of adaptation and survival. So the next time you hear the Sahara referred to as a sea without water, remember that it's not just a barren desert. It's a place of extremes, a testament to the power of nature and the resilience of life. A sea, not of water, but of sand and sun where life thrives against all odds. Now imagine a place where the sun reigns supreme and the sand stretches as far as the eye can see. That's the Sahara for you. The Sahara's landscape is as diverse as it is vast, wouldn't you agree? Let's take a moment to journey through this vast expanse of arid land. The Sahara is not just an endless sea of sand dunes, contrary to popular belief. Yes, there are sand dunes, some towering up to 600 feet high, creating an awe-inspiring spectacle of shifting sands. But that's not all. The Sahara also boasts of a variety of other landscapes. Rocky plateaus known as hamadas cover more ground than the sand dunes. These plateaus are a sight to behold, with their rugged, weather-beaten surfaces. There are also dry riverbeds known as wadis, which only fill up with water during the rare occasions when rain falls. Then there are the salt flats, or sebkas, shimmering white under the scorching sun. Speaking of the sun, the climate of the Sahara is one of extremes. During the day, temperatures can soar up to 50 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than a summer day in most places around the world. At night, however, the lack of humidity and the clear skies can cause temperatures to plunge dramatically. It's a land of fire and ice, all in one day. Rainfall is rare and sporadic in the Sahara. Some places may not see rain for years, even decades. This extreme lack of water, coupled with high heat, creates a hostile environment for life. Yet nature is resilient. Certain species of plants and animals have adapted to survive these harsh conditions. They are a testament to the incredible power of life to endure against all odds. The Sahara's climate and landscapes are not just geographical features. They shape the way of life for the people and creatures who call this desert their home. They have inspired myths, legends, and sparked the curiosity of explorers for centuries. Indeed, the Sahara's landscape and climate make it a harsh but fascinating place. This vast, seemingly inhospitable expanse holds many secrets and wonders waiting to be discovered. From its towering dunes to its rugged plateaus, from its scorching days to its freezing nights, the Sahara is a testament to the power and beauty of nature in its most extreme form. Life in the Sahara is no easy feat. But did you know that both humans and animals have found ways to adapt and survive? Let's delve into the thriving world of this seemingly hostile environment. Firstly, let's talk about the human population. The Sahara may not be the first place you'd choose to set up home, but around 2 million people call this arid expanse their backyard. These communities, primarily composed of Berbers and Tuaregs, have mastered the art of desert living. Their nomadic lifestyle, moving from one oasis to another, allows them to tap into the scarce resources of the desert. Their homes, often tents or mud brick houses, are designed to keep the harsh sun at bay. They've also adapted their diets to include foods that can withstand the desert's heat, 
such as dates and grains. By trading goods like salt, they've been able to sustain their communities for centuries, proving that human resilience can indeed conquer even the harshest of landscapes. But it's not just humans who have learned to thrive in this challenging environment. The Sahara is home to an array of resilient animals and plants. Camels, often called ships of the desert, are the Sahara's quintessential creatures. Their ability to go days without water and their humps that store fat for energy make them perfectly adapted for desert life. Then there are the desert plants. They're not as abundant as in other environments, but they're just as vital. The cacti, for instance, have thick waxy skins to prevent water loss. Their deep roots tap into underground water sources, allowing them to survive in the arid conditions. The Sahara may seem like a barren wasteland at first glance, but upon closer inspection, it's teeming with life. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of both humans and nature alike. From the nomadic tribes navigating their way through the dunes, to the camels trudging along, and the cacti standing tall under the scorching sun, life in the Sahara is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of both humans and nature alike. The Sahara has a rich history and culture shaped by the people who've lived there. Curious to know more? Let's dive in. The Sahara hasn't always been the vast expanse of sand we know today. Tens of thousands of years ago, it was a lush, green paradise teeming with life. But as the climate changed, so did the Sahara, transforming into the arid desert we see now. Despite these harsh conditions, people have called this place home for thousands of years. The Sahara's earliest inhabitants were hunter-gatherers who roamed its greener pastures. As time went on, different cultures and civilizations left their mark on the Sahara. The ancient Egyptians, for instance, built a mighty civilization in the desert's eastern edge. Their pyramids, temples, and tombs are a testament to their ingenuity and resilience in a challenging environment. Over the centuries, the Sahara has played host to a variety of cultures and peoples, each contributing to its rich tapestry of history and tradition. The Berbers, Tuareg, and other nomadic tribes have long navigated the Sahara's vast expanses, shaping its cultural identity with their languages, music, cuisine, and more. The Sahara also played a pivotal role in trade, serving as a bridge between Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. The Trans-Saharan trade routes were highways of commerce, spreading goods, ideas, and culture across vast distances. Traders braved the desert's harsh conditions to transport goods such as gold, ivory, and salt, fostering economic and cultural exchange between distant lands. The Sahara's cultural significance extends beyond its borders. Its unique blend of histories, cultures, and traditions has influenced societies around the world. From the rhythmic beats of Saharan music to the vibrant patterns of its textiles, the Sahara's cultural legacy continues to resonate far and wide. The Sahara's history and culture are as rich and diverse as its landscape. What does the future hold for the Sahara? It's a question that scientists, environmentalists, and policymakers grapple with. As we delve into the present and future of this vast desert expanse, we come face to face with the challenges of our time. Climate change, a global concern, is leaving its mark on the Sahara too. Temperature fluctuations and erratic rainfall are becoming the new norm. These shifts are not only reshaping the landscape, but also affecting the indigenous communities who have called the Sahara home for generations. Desertification, another significant challenge, is expanding the Sahara's borders threatening the livelihoods of millions in its wake. This process turns arable land into desert, fueled by overgrazing, deforestation, and poor land management practices. The ripple effects of this phenomenon are felt across continents, as dust from the Sahara travels as far as the Americas, impacting air quality and ecosystems along its path. But amidst these challenges, there's a glimmer of hope. Efforts are being made to preserve the Sahara and its unique ecosystem. Environmentalists and policymakers are developing strategies to mitigate the impacts of climate change and desertification. Projects like the Great Green Wall, an ambitious initiative to plant a belt of trees across Africa, aim to halt the desert's southward creep. Simultaneously, scientists are studying the Sahara's biodiversity, discovering new species, and learning more about its unique flora and fauna. 
These efforts will help us better understand this intriguing desert and contribute to its preservation. Innovative solutions are also being explored in the realm of renewable energy. The Sahara's abundant sunshine could potentially be harnessed to produce solar power on a colossal scale, transforming this desert into a powerhouse of green energy. The Sahara, an ocean of sand, continues to captivate and challenge us. It's a testament to the power and beauty of nature. As we look to the future, let's remember that every grain of sand in the Sahara tells a story of resilience, adaptation, and the awe-inspiring power of our natural world.